Hello and thanks for listening. The following is the audio version of the book, You Must Be Born Again. Both a printed version and ebook version are available. To request either one free of charge, contact me at the email address listed here. There are additional footnotes and references included in the printed and ebook versions, so it may be worth your while if this topic interests you. This audiobook is broken into five parts. All five are in the playlist on the YouTube channel at Hope in Dark Times. Thanks again. Part 4, Conclusion We have now arrived full circle in comprehending Jesus' message to Nicodemus. Although a personal and internal transformation is undeniably essential and does occur with genuine repentance and the receipt of God's Spirit, this was not the sole implication of Jesus' words. In a similar vein to how Jesus stipulated, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God, John the Baptist presented this requirement. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. John 3.36 The Apostle Paul affirms that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, referring to mortal humanity. A very real physical transformation must take place before anyone can access the blessings of the age to come. For those who have already died, this transformation involves resurrection into an immortal spiritual body. For those who are still alive at the time of Christ's return, the transformation is the same, from a mortal earthly body to an immortal spiritual body. The Apostle Paul drew a direct parallel between Psalm 2-7, in which God says, Today I have begotten you in Jesus' resurrection. In the most literal sense, Jesus experienced a born-again occurrence, transitioning into an immortal spiritual body, just as we all aspire to undergo the same born-again transformation. This is precisely why Paul penned these words about his Savior, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Philippians 3.10-11 It is only through this process that we can entertain any hope of seeing the kingdom of God.